hello friends welcome to this video in this video i will show you how to knit this sweater the pattern is by claire garland which i will link down below in continuation with the knitted frog that i have shared a few weeks ago i had some questions with regards to this pattern so i cannot share much information about the pattern but i will show you how to create certain notations in knitting like pair two together knit two together knit front and back I will show you that um, in order to help and guide you to create this sweater for your frog and I will show you also how to divide and how to create the sleeves basically because I had a lot of questions about that part so I hope you will find this tutorial helpful if you do don't forget to like and subscribe and I always love reading your comments so thank you guys for your support and let's get to it So to start off this pattern, we will start from the neck edge, which would require to cast on a few stitches. And in order to cast on some stitches, so I will start with a slip knot, and then I will start doing the rib cast on, which means that I will pass my needle through this loop, turn over and pull through the loop, and slip this loop onto that same needle and this way I will be increasing my loops. So I will pass my needle in between the loops now since I'm doing rib cast on, yarn over, pull through and slip on that new loop onto my hook and I will keep working this to cast on the number of stitches required. So the cast on stitches are done and now for the next few rows I will be working knitting and purling across. So I will knit one, and then purl one. And I will repeat that. Knit and purl. And like this, I will repeat it across for a few more rounds, as the pattern suggests. My ribbing is done, and next I have just one row of pearl before changing my color. the next round I have to work a KFB knit front and back and I will show you how to do that but first I have some knitting to do so I will change my color
cutting front and back so I will just start off by going into the loop as if I am knitting and I will yarn over and pull through and at this stage instead of slipping off this loop on the left hand I will move on to the back and insert my needle and once again in this same loop turn over once again and pull through and now I can slip this off and like this I have increased my number of stitches so now I have two loops from just one Once again I will knit front and back so I will insert my needle, yarn over, pull through, keep this loop in place, insert my needle again, yarn over at the back and pull through and you can slip the last stitch. And I will keep on working the next few rows until I reach a new stitch that you might need to have explained and also then I will show you how to section the sleeves chop this off and make a knot with the green so I have just worked a pearl round and I have made a knot here and now I have to change the color once again and from on I will be basically just changing my colors and increasing some stitches as I knit with the knit front and back. These knit front and backs can easily show you where the sleeves are gonna be placed. So this is what it's looking like. And this is the back. You do not have to cut the yarn each round. You can just simply keep going on working and changing your yarn color as you go along without cutting the yarn. So we'll see what you prefer. And I will be back to show you the section where you will have to divide your sleeves. So, so far, for the next about 10 rounds, I will just be changing colors and working in rows and then I will show you how to divide the sleeves. Changing back to green with my green still attached, I will simply knit carrying this upwards. Don't pull too tight to keep the shape. Once you're at the section where it's called divide sleeves, it's time to divide the sleeves. And for this section, you will need more needles to be able to divide the sleeves. So the first step is that I will need to knit 12. So I will knit 12 in the, the color, the second color, yarn B.
once you have knitted 12 you'll leave these stitches on this needle and get your third needle and on this third needle you will knit 14 continuing using the yarn B this might look a bit confusing but you just need to be a little bit careful So once you have these 14 stitches, this is where you will have your first sleeve. This is part of the front and this is the sleeve. As you can see, this triangle has been created by working those KFB knit front and back where we increased our stitches. So having this, these 14 knitted, I will now turn my work. And I will introduce my fourth needle and with this fourth needle I will purl and I will be only working on this sleeve that I have just knitted so now I will just purl these 14 stitches But first I will cut this yarn to avoid any confusion. So purling these 14. Turn your work. What I will do next is continue working on the sleeve. So I will join yarn A. So the next round I will do a stocking stitch which means that I will knit the first round and then purl the one after.
I will tie a knot at this end. Now I will work knit one, purl one, and then I will show you how to purl two together and knit two together. As beautiful as this is, obviously working with all these needles tends to be a bit annoying, but I just finished the knit and purl and now I will turn over and I will have to first purl two together. So what I will do is, as if I'm going to purl one, instead I will purl, I will insert my needle through two loops and purl them together like so and like that I have reduced from two to one next I will knit and purl And now for the last two stitches, I will knit both of them together. So I will insert my needle from below and pass it through both loops. And that's what it looks like so far. And for the last round I will cast off in rib and what that means is I will cast off by knitting and purling. So I will knit the first one, purl the second one and before I knit the next one I will get my knitted and pass it over the last loop I created. Knit the next one, pass the loop over. Next, I need to purl. Pass the loop over. Now I will cut the yarn and like that we have finished off our first sleeve. Now I will continue working on this needle and since here we were working in yarn A, I will grab a needle and my yarn B. I will knit 19.
these 19 stitches will be the back so i will move these in the middle in order to not lose any stitches and introduce my, my fourth needle continuing to work with yarn b i will not cut any yarn and i will knit 14 stitches which will make the left sleeve I have my 14 stitch on my fourth needle so far this is what it looks like now i will introduce my fifth needle and i will be working on the left sleeve as i did over here so now i will work on the sleeve and be back to show you how to join it after working the sleeve so finish the left sleeve and we will continue back together from there So I have finished the left sleeve and now I will work on the last piece which I will join yarn B. So first off I will knit these loops over here. So that is the last left back panel and now I will be joining in order to have all the loops back on one needle. So basically I will be joining these like so, joining underneath the sleeve. So I will purl the ones I just knitted. Now I will move on to this needle and I will purl these. this needle and move on to the last panel which 
I will continue to purl in order to join it back all onto the one needed. just like that we are now starting to join the sweater and the sweater it is taking shape so I believe the hard part is over and now all I have to do is just knit and purl in order to finish off my sweater. So I will work the last part and then I will just show you how to join the back panels together. So now I will just weave in these ends first. I will simply pass my yarn needle through some stitches. So this is what we have so far. Our adorable cute little sweater for our frog and now the last thing that we will need to do is join this back panel together and we will do that by using the mattress stitch which is basically finding each V of each stitch you will need to pass your hook from the middle and find these um, yarns passing through and between the V's. Um, I will show you how to do that. So I will join and leave a little bit of tail. Once in a while, you will pull on your yarn. And keep passing your yarn needle in between the stitches to the best of your ability. Sometimes it might be hard to pass your needle through the right in the middle, but what you can to your best of your abilities and don't worry about it too much because once you pull the tail it will no longer show up 
obviously keep in mind to match the colors on both sides. Once you're done, tie a knot and weave in the tail. So the back panel is joined and now I will move on to the sleeves doing the same thing we did. So the sleeve is done, I have just joined the sleeves together and I did the same on the other side and that is complete. I like to leave this open just to fit the head much nicely and this will go as such. And your sweater is complete. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and maybe guided you a little more to in order to create your cute little frog in a sweater and should you have any questions just leave them down below and obviously i will remind you that the pattern is not my own so i was very limited um what to show you but i did my best to show you the notations and the methods that you should be able to use in order to finish your sweater so the pattern is linked down below and i wish you a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video Bye guys!